वेलकम टू जम किम नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज आर्टिफिशियल फूड कलरेंस कॉन्टामिनेंस एंड डेली लाइफ प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू दैम सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑलरेडी थ्री वीडियोज आर अपलोड इन चैनल ऑन केमिस्ट्री इन डेली लाइफ यू कैन वॉच इट आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज द आई बटन प्रेजेंट अबाउट दिस वीडियो सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल फूड कलरेंस दीज आर एक्चुअली आर्टिफिशियल और सिंथेटिक फूड डाइज विच आर मैन मेड and we use them to add color to our food and beverage products but along with that they bring about some potential health risk which we can go through in this pdf so first one which we are going to deal with is coal tar dyes where coal tar is a type of artificial food colorant which is generally derived from petroleum and some of these dyes have been linked to various health issues like hyperactivity allergic reactions and cancer risk examples of such kind of coal tar dyes include tartrazine sunset yellow allura red carmosine etc when we talk about the non permitted colors these are artificial food colorants that are not approved to be used in the food product by regulatory authority for example when we talk about lead chromate copper salts and mercury sulfide next we have metallic salts which are another type of artificial food colorants that may be used in some of the food products but excessive consumption again leads to heavy metal poisoning digestive issues and it is important to understand the safety of usage of artificial food colorants so that complex issues can be avoided still major issues are coming up and there is a need for research in this field next is that how we can help ourselves by minimizing the exposure to the artificial food colorants we can choose natural foods that is opt for naturally colored foods like fruits vegetables whole grains we should read the food labels carefully to understand what are the ingredients present which in your compound and we should cook at home and limit processed food eating how to analyze our next topic is to analyze the pesticide residues in a food so pesticide residue is a very important problem which is coming across for public health and environmental safety and these residues can potentially harm human health in many ways so why pesticide residue analysis so important to ensure the food safety and promote the sustainable agriculture so that the farmers and producers produce or create an environmentally friendly agricultural practices now methods first method which we are going to deal with is gas chromatography and mass spectrometry so gas chromatography and mass spectrometry is a technique where we are separating the volatile compound based on their boiling point and then identify that compound using the mass spectrometry and analysis of organochlorine is done using this method second method is liquid chromatography or along with that we are punching mass spectrometry so we are here in this case analyzing non volatile and thermally unstable pesticides next we have enzyme linked immunosorbent assay where we are determining a uh, method where sensitive antibodies are being used to detect and quantify the pesticide residue and the last one is immunoassay where antibodies are used to detect specific pesticides and they are rapid and can be used for field testing so what are the challenges related to the pesticide residue analysis this is a complex sample matrix to be prepared during the process and this makes it difficult to be isolated low residue level that is pesticide residues are often present at low level so detection is analytical it requires much precision and diverse range of pesticides if we talk about is that wide variety of pesticides is used in agriculture and makes it challenging to develop methods that can detect the quantification of these pesticides when we talk about regulatory standards and limits various regulatory bodies are being assigned fda epa and they set maximum residue limit for these pesticides and these are based on scientific assessments of potential risk to the human health 
Now these residue analysis is essential to ensure your safety of what you are eating in your daily life by using the advanced analytical techniques and adhering to the strict regulatory standards we can protect the health and promote sustainable agricultural practice. So here ends the topic of food additives, adulterants and contaminants. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.